Vietnam. Uh, it's my second, let's say, second day here, even though I arrived yesterday in the afternoon. And I was quite jet lagged, so I was really not in the mood of vlogging. But today is a new day, and I'm going to a work meeting. And it's nice, actually, it's not as hot as yesterday. It's just like 8 in the morning. I'm in Hanoi now, and I'm staying here for the total of two days. So today, tomorrow, and then day after tomorrow in the morning, I'm going to Ho Chi Minh City, which you might know also as Saigon. And after this, we will see. After this, I have a very nice surprise for you. Okay, hello again. While I was not here, they changed my room and now we're talking. Now it's much better. Uh, before it was more or less the same concept, so it's always this uh, runner thing and the pillows and the same wardrobe and more or less the same thing. But there was no window. There was a window, but it was just facing the wall on this distance and everything was closed from up. So it was basically like living in the box. Hello, that's me. Well, I don't know actually what to tell you because I feel like every time I'm traveling for work it's always the same. So I'm uh, waking up in the morning and I'm saying to you that I'm going out for the day because it's my uh, working day, day full of meetings and then in the evening maybe I'm going somewhere and seeing something. But interestingly I'm already free and it's like around 11 now. Um, Consider that in Italy now it's around 5, so 5 in the morning, I, I mean, so for me it's very confusing still. I'm still a little bit jet lagged, but anyways, I think that now I, I just came here to put my backpack uh, because I had my computer with me. I think now I will just grab a cup of coffee. They have this, you know, like the instant something, but I'm just, I, I'm, I, I cannot. I will drink it no matter what because I'm too sleepy and too jet lagged. And I will go exploring the city. I need to write one email and I, I would love to drink a coffee. And I will show you around actually like this window. It's, it's not the hugest, but I think it's quite cute. Wait a second, I will show you what's outside. Here we are. Good morning, Vietnam. Actually, I'm on a business trip around the world, basically because uh, I was in Moldova from Thursday to Saturday. Uh, then I came back on Saturday, I came back to Palermo, I packed my suitcase and on Sunday, like afternoon, early afternoon, sorry, I will close the window because it's too noisy. Okay, it's even more confusing to close. <laughs> okay. We did it and switch on the air conditioning because it's I'm, I'm dying so coffee emails and then going out for food because i had only fruits for breakfast i was feeling kind of weird you know when you don't sleep you feel a bit woozy and weird uh, so i only had pineapples and uh, banana which pineapples in asia oh my god sitting by the lake, let me show you, uh, in this beautiful light. Actually, I, I almost forgot, uh, I haven't been to Southeast Asia for, as I said, six years. Or maybe I didn't say, maybe I said it in a different video. Anyway, so I haven't been to Southeast Asia for six years. Um, I used to live in Thailand, maybe if you, if you watch my uh, channel, you know I spoke about this before. Uh, I used to live in Thailand six years ago, so in 2013 for about six months. It was challenging and uh, beautiful and amazing and just like something that, some experience that they always want to keep with me and just in general an experience that they always want to keep with me because uh, it wasn't easy. It was not the easy time in my life. People think that when you go and live in a beautiful place everything is so perfect and figured out, but it's not. But anyways, so six years later I'm back here and it's beautiful and Vietnam also smells a little bit like Thailand and it's just this, the same humid air and I don't know, the, the same heat, the same many things uh, and at the same time so different because it's 
course it's a different country with different uh, history, with different culture, with everything different. So it's beautiful and I'm really enjoying myself. And I'm just sitting here by the lake. Uh, I was trying to find some food but I didn't manage yet. But you can see that over there. I'm not sure if you could see, uh, there is a beautiful temple inside the, like in the middle of the lake. So I think I'm going to go there and uh, check out what is going on. Yeah, and in any case, I will need to find some food soon uh, and coffee. And I would love to have a mango shake, but I don't think that here they do it. It's kind of a thing in Thailand. Uh, you always have the fruit shakes, and especially like, uh, uh, I don't know, watermelon and banana or mango and uh, pineapple or just mango. And I would love to have one, I, but I think I will have to wait till Bangkok. Anyways, let's go check the temple. Uh, I'm not really dressed for it because I have my uh, shoulders open and I always respect these things because uh, it's really heartbreaking seeing uh, over my time in Thailand, I see so many times uh, people who are entering, the tu tourists of course, uh, who are entering temples in very short shorts and uh, spaghetti strap tops and it's just disrespectful towards other people's culture, towards other people's beliefs and religion and just in general if people tell you please don't come dressed like that it's very rude to come dressed exactly like that uh, so I will see if I'm I don't know if they have the regulations over there maybe they're a little bit less strict than in Thailand uh, but it looks like a very pretty place I will show you close kind of like a smoothie and with coconut milk this is what I have Okay, so I got the ticket. Here it is. Uh, it costs uh, 30 Vietnamese dong, which is, I cannot even, I, I don't know. <laughs> I believe 10 dong, uh, I mean, sorry, I believe 10 dollars. Okay, I don't know. I know that when I was paying for the visa, I know that when I was paying for my visa, because uh, as a Ukrainian citizen I needed to get a visa to enter Vietnam, I paid, um, I needed to pay 25 dollars, American dollars, and I paid 600 thousand dollars. Anyways, I cannot do math right now. I bought the ticket and now we will go and explore the temple a little bit. I'm not sure I dressed appropriately, but they didn't tell me anything. I asked them if I can enter like this, and they said yes, yes, no, sure, so. But they say that there are people wearing the, it's kind of like, a robe that you wear over your clothes when you're not dressed uh, properly for the, for the temple. place over there and it's just beautiful it's so peaceful oh my god I still can't believe that I'm here it's like two days ago I was still in Palermo It's much later now and I'm going to meet one of my friends here she she's Vietnamese and she lives in Hanoi so I guess we're going for dinner and maybe for a walk What I love about 
about these mornings is that they even smell like Thai mornings, like from my times in Thailand. It's the same level of heat and the same smells and everything. So I'm very excited to go out again now. It's about... What time? It's about 8, I think. I'm heading down to have a breakfast and then I'm going to work, but... I hope that after that I will do something exciting, as I'm always saying. I'm supposed to maybe meet my friend Lizzie again, so I hope I will. And yeah, okay, here I am, all sleepy, still no makeup. Good morning. Well, hello again. Uh, it's much later. I had meetings all day, basically from 9, around 9 in the morning up until... Um, around four I think I finished with all of my meetings here in Hanoi and now I came back to my room and I'm going out with my friend again and pretty much this is my last day in Hanoi because tomorrow morning I'm taking a flight to Ho Chi Minh City and I'm going to stay there tomorrow and day after tomorrow and after this I will have to say goodbye to Vietnam but we will have we me and you we will have so many more exciting adventures straight after this because as i told you in one of my previous videos i think i'm going to from here i'm going to bangkok uh from bangkok i'm going to tashkent and i really hope that i will manage to go into the city and see something and from there i'm going to kazakhstan again uh, i already have a travel video for, about kazakhstan and i'm really excited about going there again so this is the plan for now, uh, but this is like really in the future. And for now, I'm going out. Uh, yeah, I'm just wearing a simple dress that you saw 100 million times. I'm going out. We're going to grab f some food and some drinks with my friend Lizzie, spend some time with her uh, because I don't know when I will see her next time. And this is the plan for tonight. Well, good evening everyone. Uh, I look a little, a little bit like a hot mess because it's been a long day, honestly. But now I'm on the roof of my hotel. It has this... I actually... I just only noticed this today. It's kind of like a small garden. You'll probably not see anything there. A few trees. Places to sit down. I'm pretty sure people just come here to smoke or something. And um, you can see the city from here a little bit. Amazing, right? Good morning, my lovely. Uh, I'm already, I'm already in the airport in Hanoi. Can you hear me? I don't know. Uh, if you're wondering why I look so weird, I was also wondering this uh, when I looked at myself in the mirror. And okay, so what I was saying, I was also wondering why I look so weird this morning, and then I realized that because I woke up at six in the morning. Uh, I actually put on my makeup, but I forgot to put on mascara, so that's it. That's my glamorous life here in, I don't know, now in Asia. Um, anyway, so I left Hanoi this morning, now I'm in the airport, I'm going to Ho Chi Minh City, or Saigon, as many of you may know it, uh, in a, like half an hour. We're supposed to leave in, we're supposed to fly in like half an hour, and I will continue my vlog, of course, in Hanoi. Uh, one thing that I wanted to tell you is that it was ridiculously sad for me to live Hanoi today. I don't know why. It's a beautiful city. I really, really liked it. And also because maybe it was saying goodbye to me with the torrential rain today. I just felt, you know, the connection. If you used to read my blog some time ago, I was describing how when I lived, used to live in Thailand, um, at one point I, I used to hate Chiang Mai. And at one point it was raining and I was thinking like, okay, like this, I can do with this because it was not hot, it was a little bit gloomy, it was something new in the weather. So this morning it was very gloomy and very rainy and it was beautiful. I'm a rain person. I was born in autumn, so... And... Yeah. So I really liked it. I really hope I will come back. Oh God, I think I look like I'm crying. Anyways, I'm not. <laughs> uh, beautiful city and I hope I will come back here very soon and just have more time to travel around and visit Halong Bay and just, just see the city a little bit more more than two days and a half. So this is basically what I wanted to tell you. Uh, now we are going to Ho Chi Minh City but first I'm going to grab a sandwich.